So you might ask, what does Chef Kovis have planned for October? How about some Freaky Fridays? Um, I want to take all these like Halloween appetizers and like party food and see if it's doable. See how they really come out. So for every Friday in the month of October, we're going to try a new Freaky Friday treat. Um, so today, being our first one, super excited, we're going to bring some mummies into the works. On the menu today, we are going to do, I think doing mummy hot dogs, I know that everyone's like, oh, that's probably so easy and boring. I've actually never done them, so we're going to do regular mummy hot dogs and octopus mummy hot dogs. Um, and then for the adults, if you went to a party and you need to bring appetizer, jalapeno popper mummies. And then I'm going to show you a cool little trick, something I saw on Pinterest that I loved for an antipasta, since you know that Chef Kovic is always putting on an antipasta. I'm going to change it up, add a little spookiness to it. I don't know, maybe the hat is suiting me. Don't know where my broomstick is, you know what I mean? All in the prep with Chef Kovis. So this station, we got our hot dogs that we're gonna do, crescent rolls. On this station already is gonna be our jalapeno poppers. We're gonna do each one. And this creepy guy over here, which is all different pieces of like a prop that we got at shop, right? We're gonna make a really cool antipast. Okay. Number one mummy we're gonna make. Kid friendly, easy, I mean, how can you go wrong with a hot dog, mini hot dogs for kids? You can make them ahead of time, day of trick or treat. So I bought just the good old crescent rolls and I bought Hebrew National all beef hot dogs just because you never know who's coming to your house. So we're just gonna, I love doing this when you get to crack it and it pops open, we'll supposed to pop open. That didn't work. Hold on, maybe one now. I get so excited, it's like a kid on Christmas, get pop open. All right, so I'm gonna roll this on out of the casing. And we're gonna do two different types of hot dogs. We're gonna do octopus ones and regular ones. So the crescent rolls are just gonna be rolled on out. And what I saw the trick was using a pizza cutter. Now these have some lines already cut in them. We're gonna take some of the hot dogs Keep them whole, and some of the hot dogs are gonna cut as an octopus. Okay, so we did a couple different versions of mommy hot dogs with eyes, and instead of um, doing an egg wash, I'm actually gonna spray them with nonstick spray because I feel like crescent rolls really do have a lot of butter in them. So these are all ready, popping them in the oven, and then we'll serve them up with ketchup, plate them up real cool. Okay, my mummies just came out of the oven. They're so cute. Look at the octopus. I really like the octopus ones. And what we're going to do is let's figure out a creative way to plate them up. And here are hot dogs for the kids. Little octopuses and mummy dogs. I am not a spicy food person, um, but I like to think outside of the box and try new things, even though I don't like jalapenos at all. Um, but we're gonna do jala stuffed jalapeno poppers. Now, I had a friend of mine bring a jalapeno poppers for an appetizer here, and then I saw how to make them into mummies using bacon, and we're gonna doctor up with just a plain old cream cheese filling um, with bacon and cheese. More cheese, a lot of cheese. So for this recipe, we're using one pound of cream cheese. These are the fresh jalapenos. I got cheddar cheese scallions, black olives, bacon, bacon fat, and cook, cooked crispy bacon. Um, I'm also gonna season up my filling with a little bit of garlic powder and salt and pepper. So we're gonna do the jalapeno poppers, um, and we're gonna do some clean jalapenos. So a couple quick tips. One, if you're like me and don't like spicy, do not work on the jalapenos and then touch your face because it will start to burn or rub your eyes. And make sure you change the cutting board after. So I cut them in half. I'm trying to keep the stem on them as best as I can. Um, the seeds were obviously the hot part about it. So we're just gonna trim them up, clean them out. If you have a lot of seeds, you can rinse them out in the water after. But in essence, we wanna get them all like this so we can fill them up. Okay. So we put the cream cheese in the bowl. We're gonna add, it's around a cup and a half of shredded cheddar. We're gonna add around a half a cup of scallions. I'm just gonna season it up with a little bit of garlic powder. Black pepper. 
And then I cook the bacon ahead of time and I'll save the bacon fat. I'll pour that right in there because that's gonna make it delicioso. And just a little bit of salt. Then that bacon that we cooked earlier, that's right here. Um, I personally like crunchy bacon, so, and if you really want to taste the bacon flavor, leave it a little bit more chunky. Spread your knife through it. Put it in your mix. Um, best, obviously, if the cream cheese is at room temperature. Just use in the back of the spatula, kind of combine it all. What I'm gonna do is just so it looks a little nicer. Now you could use a spoon and just spoon it. So I'm gonna get a Ziploc baggie, and I'm gonna put the filling, cut a hole, and we're just gonna kind of pipe it in so we have a little bit more control over it. But as you can see, the filling all coming together. And um, side note, if you're someone like me who doesn't like jalapenos, this, just make it a dip, put it in a casserole dish, Chips. Forget the with the hot dogs, we use puff pastry, but with the jalapeno poppers, I'm gonna use bacon. So, easiest way to do it is cut it up. I, I want them to be thin strips to be able to wrap around. Um, so, I'm actually gonna trim off most of the real fatty, fatty part and keep this piece, which will now wrap around, and I'll toothpick it to stay in place. All right, I'm not gonna lie, they're not the prettiest, but I'm gonna assume they're pretty freaking tasty. How can you go wrong? Cream cheese, cheddar, and bacon, a little spice. So these are mummy jalapenos, but this is the true reality of Pinterest and real life. So this takes a lot for me to go and eat one of these, especially because I hate spicy food. Um, but I'm taking one for the team, jalapeno papa. Hot. Oh, baby. Hot, hot. Sweet and spicy. Oh, baby. Okay. No. I try. <laughs> oh, my God. This is why. I'm sweating right now. I'm glistening with sweat. I'm so hot. I'm such a wimp when it comes to spicy food. That was a no. That was a definite no. This is my best friend. This is Fred. Fred's dead. But Fred's gonna help us making any pasta platter. So I bought him at shop, right? He's in all the different pieces and I have two cutting boards. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a scary centerpiece that you can put in the middle of your table that people can snack on and nosh with basic cheese, crackers, and meat. Concerned? I mean, there's really no right or wrong way, whatever you wanna eat, whatever you wanna put on your board. If you wanna do grapes, I did see this, which I love. That's why I did this wooden plant that you could go like this with the cheese, um, which means there's enough for people to take, and you know, it's not gone. You can make a rib cage out of the cheese. If you don't have a lot of cheese, you can use, I was thinking in the beginning, string cheese, my kids' string cheese. But we're gonna just make a nice rib cage, and then on the bottom, I'm gonna put some other cheese with some grapes for people to snack on. So you can buy whatever kind of prosciutto. If you don't like prosciutto, you can buy something else. I think prosciutto looks the best. So what we want to do is take the pieces, rip them in serving size, and we're gonna to start to wrap the skull around. It's a lot easier to work with it if it's at room temperature. And save all the little pieces because the little pieces are what we're gonna tuck in here to make the whole thing cover. And then I'm gonna take the mortadella and I'm gonna use that along the legs. We're gonna have a flesh, delicious skull. I really am a big fan of these octopus. You just like dip and eat. I think you can have like you want. Can't go wrong with this. You can even do mini ones I'm thinking for kids. All right, here's my friend Fred. Now you can do this however you want. You can add dried apricots, strawberries, in between the knuckles so it looks like bloody knuckles. You could do whatever you want to get you know, creative with this. We love the meat hanging off, the eyeballs, the grapes, little rib cage, but it is, it's a fun centerpiece for the middle of your table.